Are you thinking of moving to Portland, Oregon, but wanna know what else there is besides Portland proper? In this video, I'll be doing a compare and contrast between the Portland city limits and a beautiful and very nice suburb to the southeast of Portland called Happy Valley. I cannot wait for you to learn about Happy Valley, so let's get into it. If you're watching this because you want to make a move to the Portland area, know that we love making these videos for you. But even more than that, we absolutely love connecting with people and helping them move up here and actually get into their dream homes. People are finding these videos and reaching out to us all the time and asking us questions about moving up here and we absolutely love it. So if you're moving up here in the near or distant future, don't be shy. We'd absolutely welcome a call, text or email from you to get the conversation started and see if there's anything we can do to help. You can find all of our contact information right down below this video in the description or in the comments. Now, with that said, let's talk about Happy Valley. It's a suburb located in Clackamas County, approximately 25 minutes or so from downtown Portland, and even less than that to parts of Southeast Portland. It's nice, it's quiet. I mean, it's the suburbs, for sure. According to Niche.com, Happy Valley has an overall A rating and an A minus for public schools, so that means it's an amazing place to raise a family. It's got a population of about 23,000 people, and you know what else it has? Views, amazing views. That's because of the topography in Happy Valley. There is a retired volcano. <laughs> I know it's actually called an extinct volcano, but I just thought the image of a retired volcano was pretty funny. Anyways, there's an extinct volcano right in the middle of Happy Valley called Mount Scott with residential homes up and down the hillside. So there are so many stunningly beautiful views throughout Happy Valley. When you're just driving down the street, it's hard to tell sometimes exactly how beautiful the views are in these homes, but standing inside and looking out at all the views, it's just pretty amazing. There is a little bit of a trade-off though living in Happy Valley versus Portland. Portland is a city of 660,000 people, so it's going to be much more densely populated with a lot more bars and restaurants and nightlife. There's definitely some good bars and lots of good restaurants in Happy Valley, but nowhere near as much as Portland. And forget about seeing your favorite touring band play in Happy Valley, but luckily, I mean, you're still in the Portland Metro, so you can just drive right into Portland to see them. Also, you can expect a higher cost of living in Happy Valley and overall higher real estate prices with a median home price of 600,000, where the median home value in Portland is right around 520,000. There is no no shortage of beautiful nature to explore in Portland and in Happy Valley. If you were to ignore the vast wilderness that surrounds the city in all directions, there's over 200 parks in the entire city of Portland, from the smallest park in the entire world to one of the largest urban parks in the U.S. Whether you're talking about Mount Tabor Park, Laurelhurst Park, Forest Park, Alberta Park, or one of the many lovely parks dispersed throughout the city, there's most most likely a park within walking distance to you or within a short drive. There's also some pretty incredible parks in Happy Valley as well. Powell Butte Nature Park is a 610 acre park just to the north of Happy Valley, which has hiking trails, biking trails, running trails, and incredible views of Mount Hood. There's also a few really nice parks in Happy Valley as well. Another big difference that you'll notice as well is the age of homes in Happy Valley versus Portland. Portland was originally founded in 1851, so you are going to see many homes that were built in the early 1900s. This gives Portland so much classic charm and style that is hard to find anywhere else. Happy Valley, by comparison, is a baby compared to Portland. It was incorporated as a city in 1965. The median age of homes built in Portland is right around 58 years old, but in Happy Valley, the median age of homes is only 19 years old. And you best believe that there are new homes being built right now as I speak. So if you love a home that could tell some good stories if the walls could talk, then you should probably buy a house in Portland. But if you prefer that new home smell and want to get into something fresh, it's definitely worth looking into Happy Valley. Since Happy Valley is so small, there really isn't a lot of traffic there. Whereas Portland traffic seems to be getting worse every day. If you need to commute to and from Portland from Happy Valley, you might 
have to deal with some of that though. You're definitely gonna see a lot more wider two lane roads in Happy Valley versus Portland. Many of the busy streets in Portland are one lane each direction. You can drive from one end of Happy Valley to the other in about 10 minutes or so. So it's a pretty small community. Also, there's a significantly higher homeless population in Portland versus Happy Valley. In the entire Clackamas County, there's only about one fifth of the amount of homeless people within Portland. And most of them are in a different part of Clackamas County, not in Happy Valley. Here's some quick facts about each spot. The median age in Portland is right around 37 years old, and the median age in Happy Valley is 39 years old. In Portland, it's split right down the middle between homeowners and renters. In Happy Valley though, those numbers are significantly dominated by homeowners with over 85% of residents in Happy Valley owning their home. Happy Valley is a total of 8.3 square miles, and it should be no surprise that Portland is significantly bigger with an area of 145 square miles. 11 of those square miles are water. Both places are really great to live with tons of beautiful nature everywhere. And if you decide to live in Happy Valley, you are close enough to the center of Portland that you could still enjoy the many benefits that the city has to offer. To continue to do more research on places to live in the Portland metro area, I recommend watching this video next where I talk about another great suburb in the Portland area. Thanks for watching.